about 15 years ago, he flew to Alaska in a, in a commercial flight, and, when we, and we had four suitcases containing all of our camping gear, including tents, sleeping bags, cooking gear, and so forth. And uh, when we got there, we rented a small car, compact car, pu uh, packed all our gear into it, and proceeded to drive over all of the uh, paved roads in Alaska. And we camped in many um, small and large national forest campgrounds, and uh, eventually we ended up camping in Wrangell St. Elias National Park. And the story that I'm going to tell is about our experience there on the road. What they told us was uh, you can drive in along this long road to a copper mine, and uh, you know, and the road was once a railroad bed. So they said, watch out because the railroad's bed six feet below the ground uh, where you're driving, but sometimes the frost pushes railroad spikes up through the ground, and those railroad spikes can uh, injure the tires in your car. So I said, okay. Well, I thought that was funny because I couldn't believe that railroad spikes could come out of a railroad ties six feet below me and be pushed up through the sand uh, and come up through the ground and, and injure my tire. So we drove along and eventually we came to pretty much the end of the road, or at least as far as we wanted to go in an old, uh, in a small car. But along the way, I managed to pick up four railroad spikes sitting on top of the ground. Luckily, I saw them before I ran over them, so we got safely to, to into the park, to the copper mine, and drove back in our little car and successfully uh, 